plans. An action plan is something in place that gives you a prescribed course of action for something that's going to occur. So in other words, if you had an action plan, if we had a fire inside the house, what's the action plan? Well, we make our way out to the back, we gather together as a family, we make sure everybody knows and we're accounted for. Okay, so an action plan is something that you can prescribe and put into place, but as you'll see, with any incident, no matter how you prepare, there are so many variables that just because you have a plan in place does not mean that you're going to be able to go down that list and handle it accordingly. It can change. It's very fluid. Okay, so it's great to kind of know what you're going to do because it's going to help everybody to be on the same sheet. So if we all in here said, hey, somebody comes in and does this, we're going to do this, this, and this. And if we all know those three, then at least we're on the same sheet. So if you see me doing something, you kind of know, oh, that's what we're doing, okay? So that's the purpose of an action plan within a church or within an organization, especially with security protocol, is to at least have something set up so everybody's aware of what we're going to do. So the best action plan, once again, I'm just going to reiterate, uh, the best action plan that you can have for church and church security and protection of the church is a spiritual action plan, okay? If you don't do preparation, before you come in and think you're going to operate in security, you're probably sadly mistaken. Okay, if the enemy wants to come in, wants to disrupt, there's a plethora of ways in which they can do that. Okay, and so we have to prepare ourselves. When I go to work uh, throughout the course of the day, uh, you know, I work in law enforcement, I don't, have, I don't have authority. Standing here today, I don't have an authority to do certain things. It's not because of me, but when I go to work or when I operate under the badge or I put on the uniform of the higher authority, with that covering, I do have an authority to act. With that covering, I'm not acting on behalf of Duane, I'm acting on behalf of the state of Florida, which gives me certain rights that I can impose upon certain people who are doing things contrary to the law. So, if you have an issue and you have disruption inside the church, I will tell you, first and foremost, it is a spiritual issue. Would, would you agree to that? So, somebody comes into the house of God, they intend to disrupt the house of God. They intend to, dis to divert or disrupt the flow of the Word of God or the freedom that comes through the Word of God. That is a spiritual enemy, whether they realize it or not. I'm not saying that every person that comes in that disrupts is, is demonically possessed. But I am saying that anybody who has an intent to come in and to harm or disrupt this church is under the leading and the guise of the enemy who desires to disrupt the body, is under the leading and the guise of the enemy who desires to destroy and to prevent the going forth of the word. So it is a spiritual thing. So if you're going to impose something, and, and I would say there, there's many times I can look back in my career and I know good and well I wouldn't have made it home had I not been spiritually prepared. I wouldn't have made it home had God's hand not been upon my life and covering me more so than a physical skill set. Because you can have a skill set, but if you don't have a spiritual covering, your skill set is irrelevant. Because there are certain things you're not going to handle through a physical realm. There are certain enemies that will come into the church that if you're going to contain them, and if you're going to control and, and prevent the disruption, you're going to have to have a spiritual authority. Okay, so just the same as... If you work in law enforcement or, or in any kind of aspect, you put on a uniform, and that uniform is what gives you the authority to act on, okay, on behalf of the higher authority, then in the spiritual realm, we have to be covered under the authority of God, okay? So when you come into church, it's not time to sit here. I mean, great, if you, if you had a busy week and came in here and you just got to get some stuff straight, great, do that. But I would challenge you, be spiritually prepared when you come in. Be praying, praying for the church, praying for things, understanding um, there are certain things that we need to do. You can go ahead and click the next... So prior to service and during service, you need to be praying over your pastor and the service. You need to pray for the effective work and the preaching of the word. You need to pray for those in attendance. And you need to pray over subjects who have been identified as posing a potential risk.